Thanks as well for uh, accepting our invite to, to be part of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe to give you a little bit of context, what we try to do here is uh, try to portray a person through conversation. Yeah. The concept we started with for the podcast was uh, have a few ordinary people talk about what most people would call big world events, right? So we'll talk okay. about conversations like uh, we'd say we talk about industries like music and we would give our opinions on what is and what isn't working in music and things like that. Uh, mm. For our second season, we are trying to divert a little bit and talk more about people because we, we believe that the world is majorly made of people. Yeah, And our approach towards uh, portraying people through conversation is also rooted in our African tradition. So before <coughs> Arabs and uh, white people come to Africa, what we did as a form of art and as a form of moving our knowledge forward through generations was conversation through storytelling and we feel like this is sort of our tribute to to that same culture and yeah. that is exactly what we're trying to do so yeah welcome welcome thank you very much for coming uh to start off we are going to go directly into the hard stuff what do you try to say with your music so i've listened to most of your music and it's unlike majority of uh say your age mate within music you know yeah. it's not uh, easily commercial it's yeah. not easily m made uh, commercialized yeah yeah it's sort of nelly is trying to reach out to someone who is yeah. that someone and what, what are you trying to tell him exactly yeah first of all um uh, i i don't have a, a, a particular target a particular uh, age bracket uh, but um, I do music for everyone. Mm -hmm. I do music for all classes. I do music for all people. I do music for men and women. I mean, um, uh, I do music for the, for the world. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I was inspired by the desire to make the world a better place. So I have to make sure that my music can be that change can be um, a change in my community, mm -hmm. uh, it can be a change in Uganda, a change in the whole world. It doesn't matter whether you understand the language or oh, not, no. as long as you can listen yeah. to music and uh, you get interpreted, or I, I interpret for you, I translate for you. Um, what matters is the message. Uh, talking about message, I don't necessarily sing or rap conscious, but um, mm -hmm. I, I mix. I have to make sure that I, I educate you, I entertain you, and uh, inspire you at the same time. So um, I use this through the art of storytelling mm -hmm. and maybe uh, metaphors and lyricism yeah, yeah, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, that's I think one of the things I appreciate a lot about uh, most of your music is yeah. it's, uh, the kind of music you want to listen to twice, right? Yes, because, exactly. Uh, there's that word, I don't know how to say it well. Chico Andre. Uh, I don't know if that's, that's I don't know. I'm, 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 yeah, but there's, there's a word where you, the, the line would mean one thing the first time you listen to it. Yeah. And when I listen to it again, I'm like, oh, maybe he meant that, you know. That's, yeah. uh, that's what, what I always concentrate on is um, to visualize the words. I have to mm -hmm. make sure that I make you uh, watch the video while listening to the yeah, audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, through these stories, I have to make sure that I... I think I, I wrap something that you can relate to. These are the things that happens. Things like domestic violence, mm -hmm, things mm -hmm. like um, Kubala in the club, talking about such yeah, life. Yeah. Then uh, inspirational stories. These are normal things. I don't. I don't. I don't find it so hard to think. I don't overthink and be like, okay, so what am I going to rap about? I just look um, into the community. I be like, okay, what's happening? And I rap about that. And so, what is this process? Do you, uh, for example? plan out and say maybe within this year I want to release an album do you say uh, maybe I've been walking around the street and I saw this thing and it had a really big impression on me let me run to the studio and record it while still fresh uh, what is the what is the process for you to get music from your head or from the world out there into uh, say an album yeah um, when I was when I was starting um, I, I had a lot of pressure 
I, I could give myself pressure that, oh, this year I have to, to release an album. Mm -hmm. But right now, uh, what matters is the inspiration. If I'm not inspired enough, I don't release music. If I'm not okay. inspired enough, I don't release an album, you know. Yeah. So it depends on, 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 on the inspiration, you understand. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not like those, those kind of artists who... who uh, who release music uh, because of pressure from their fans that mm -hmm. hey, to work up here, to work up here, we need something yeah. new. Bring, the bring it also, on. The you money understand? also influences so, that. Yeah. Uh, that's why uh, even my fans, uh, my fans understand the kind of artist they, they support. They know the kind of artist they, they, they follow. Mm -hmm. uh, when, it's, when it's time to release the music, it is time to release. I uh, see. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about impact. So some of the, and, and maybe I, I could be getting this wrong. Again, I'm seeing, I'm looking at uh, Seneli said from a, pan, a fan perspective, right? Yeah. Uh, some of the music I see that you push out uh, is trying to sort of, influence the hip-hop culture a little bit i see for example i've seen you in a couple of ciphers yeah uh, cypher, this is a concept from a bt i think right yeah uh what what are you trying are you trying to put some fire into the culture is this something you've also found and you're trying to just uh be part of it what is your impact within the hip-hop culture itself at, in general yes of course you have to um to really show the young generation how they are supposed to to present themselves because mm -hmm. uh, hip hop itself is more than just a genre it is it is uh, it is a culture yeah. it is a way of of expression it is a conversation there is a listener there is a speaker you understand yeah, so yeah, yeah. at the end of the day you have to to really dig deep into the culture and 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 maybe uh, try to 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 portray certain elements like uh, like the way you've said about ciphers. It's it's not a bit thing. It's 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 a hip hop thing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it, it it's all about the 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 we, for us uh, MCs we call it a uh, zone. It's all about the zoning that. If, if if I'm not ready for the cipher, I won't do it. I, I won't see, come I in see, the cipher I see, I see. because th there are so many ciphers. We we are always part of. Uh, the, the others are recorded, others are not recorded. Mm -hmm. Others you have seen them, others you haven't. I'll never see. You them. understand. So th that zoning really uh, brings out the real you. You understand. So, sometimes people call it um, a competition when 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 people are doing ciphers. Mm, uh, that's why these days when. Uh, when we are doing uh, UG hip hop uh, ciphers, yeah, 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 UG ciphers by a talent Africa, others could could be there and be like, okay, I'm waiting to see who killed it. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. is the mentality. That's 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 what we we always target to be like, okay, we have to make them anticipate for this cipher. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Not not in the in that line of competition because you'll never know what the fans want you know yeah, i agree, I agree. <laughs> for, them, for them you just have to release something and they judge and they and they discuss and they make it a topic about it but at the end of the day these are we, the, these are tasteful of skills these are these are challenges as an mc uh, it could be a freestyle cipher or a written cipher. Mm. So I think I'm, I'm too <laughs> hip hop. This yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's from, so so what, what is in for you, by the way, from hey. this? So, so from, from what I understand is maybe your biggest motivation, again, since you've said you don't react a lot to, to like the pressure from the fan. Yeah. Uh, most of the musicians who do that, it's because that's what the money is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm saying I, I know that money is definitely a factor, but it's probably not the most important factor for you. Yeah. Why do you do this kind of music? What is in for you, for example? First of all, I didn't talk about it, but I, 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 I always want to see the industry grow, especially mm -hmm. the hip hop mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. When you look at uh, music in Uganda, the music industry in Uganda, it's um, it's uh, it's 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 too much of dancehall and uh, that that Chidanda is kind of music yeah, yeah. but hip-hop is a bit laid behind not because th there are no rappers there are no MCs, but because of uh, how the media uh, brings it out mm -hmm. you understand so at the end of the day my main aim is to see the growth of hip-hop in uganda that's why every time when i'm doing something um i have to make sure that at least these young MCs come out you understand? I have a movement um, called End of the Week. 
end of the week, week w e a k okay uh, end of the abanafu yes end of abanafu committed to abanafu that's good, what we call it uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a competition it has a competition called end of the week mc challenge mm-hmm. so many mcs have passed through that mc challenge it's an international um mc challenge but it, it its aim is not only to get uh, to get the champion but mm-hmm. sometimes to test an mc and set that mc to prepare that mc to become a better mc in the future I see, understand? I see, I see. by the time you come into the competition and uh, go through all the five uh, rounds the the a cappella round the freestyle grab bag round the the cypher round you won't be the same person you'll have to go back home and practice and be like oh i need to yeah, become I, a better I, mc you understand so what matters here is, is to prepare someone and um make him believe in, in 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 himself and be like okay you need to do uh a lot of work here you have to improve here you have to improve on the writing you have mm-hmm. to improve mm-hmm. on the voice uh, on the crowd response and all that so um i always focus on on bringing out these young mcs these young artists yeah. to be because i believe that yes i'm good but there are so many people under the under uh, under into the ground who are better than me i understand? see i see i see who are better than others who are even better than these mainstream artists yeah. you, see, you watch on tv who are just waiting to be you discovered you understand so um that's my biggest aim uh, at the end of the day you'll find me at uh, sharing youth center every monday teaching these young kids of breakdance project mm-hmm. uganda how to rap mm-hmm. how to uh, to follow the beat how to count bars on the beat i mean yeah that's my main focus <clears throat> yeah so so let's uh, first circle back a bit on the movement yeah if if say i know people who who have talent or you know who want to explore what they can do within hip hop how do they find this movement Ah, uh, the movement is uh, is is all over social media. Only that okay. um, we've been a bit dormant for the past two years because mm-hmm. of certain issues, of, uh, things to do with the with their sponsorships and yeah. stuff, and yeah. the fact that sometimes they deny our champions visas. Because uh, I told you, it's a, it's an international movement. Okay. Okay. It's a it's a movement towards hip hop culture improvement mm-hmm. so in you in africa it has only four chapters uganda south africa nigeria and um, and madagascar but it has so many chapters all over europe and, and north america yeah. i'm talking of german belgium switzerland uh, 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 italy i mean there are so many chapters so every year we have to present each chapter is supposed to to present a champion to feature on that international stage called end of the week international hip hop festival or end of the week world finals so it's 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 not for particular regions or languages we don't care about mm-hmm. uh, which language you speak you understand what if i make up my own language i come with uh as long as there is someone else who can listen as to long that as it's language, intelligible. we have to bring a judge whether you're rapping in Acholi, Langi, Lusoka, Luganda, anything okay, what we, what matters is 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 the is the judge because we usually mm-hmm. have those judges who can translate to us and even you see hip hop is a universal language itself we, you can tell that wow this guy because as i told you there are different rounds and mm-hmm. we judge so many things we can, we judge the flow we, we judge the crowd response we we judge the creativity i, see, I, see, I, see, I mean I there are so many things yeah. you can tell that this this person is good mm-hmm. even though you don't understand yeah, the language okay. yeah 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 okay yeah that's, that's actually very good <laughs> so let's talk about the, the funding bit and this is extremely interesting yeah and the story for uh mainstream hip-hop for mm. example yeah and and if you look at uh sort of the history that i remember a little bit say the beginning of jay-z right uh hip-hop by then was quite underground and you had to be really good like uh uh andre you know uh the what's the name of that band the group of uh uh Wu-Tang. yeah the Wu-Tang guys right you have to be really really good you have to be grammy worthy for you to you had to be by that time yeah uh, people like jay-z come into hip-hop and mostly because they couldn't find any funding they come into hip-hop to launder their money yeah so this is sort of the 
and yeah. told truth yeah and these are these have been the drug business it's time to get clean they come into hip-hop to launder their money and they can rap so jay-z is lucky that he has the talent and he also has all this dirty money that he needs to clean so he he can sort of uh, sponsor his production but he's also able to invest money in buying the number of records he requires to get his album on the charts for example yeah, yeah. so people can pay attention to him yeah and so the organic part goes on from there in Uganda, yeah, in Uganda, I've seen, I've seen uh, some artists. I've seen GNL. I've seen uh, Munji. Munji, his style has been very, very flexible. Has been has evolved over time, but he starts as a hip hop artist, as sort of a, a different version of rapper. And these have managed to go pop, right? But GNL right now, I think, is no longer doing a lot of it. But they they managed to come from sort of this version of storytelling to going pop, yeah, with. Uh, we, at the mercy of the fans, you know, why? What do you think is missing in terms of uh, for 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 most of the other hip hop? And and I want to compare hip hop to say Kadongo Kaman. People don't think there is a very big relationship there, but unlike all other musics, where all other versions of music where you see you have uh, short verses between choruses and short verses between choruses and verses are mostly poems. In hip hop and in Kadongo Kam, you can tell a story for as long as you want without a what. A chorus or without uh, a hook yeah, yeah. Uh, that's sort of a very similar thing so most of that is not it's so if i'm if i'm to listen to say uh rappers who who say make longer verses say some of eminem's older work mm. it's music that i'm not going to dance to right it's music i want to listen to maybe to going to work to, or just yeah. sitting at home and you know meditating about stuff and listen to eminem and that's the same feeling i get when i listen to kafero right yeah it's not music i'm going to i mean you can dance to kafero's music if you know how to dance the chiganda way but it's mostly music you're going to listen to and wonder about you know state of kampala some of his political music if you can listen to it uh but most of unlike kafero kafero of course because again he knew his target very well most of the hip-hop most of the people who'd be willing to pay attention to such kind of storytelling they feel like hip-hop is too foreign for them you know what what would you what do you think the, the balance there would be to get hip-hop the fan base without actually having to to kill the quality you know to to without making it and I'm, I'm also a little bit old, so I'm going to say new school hip hop is not my kind of thing. Without making mm. it panda, you know, <clears throat> making it sort of like a mambo rapping. You see, the thing is, um, <clears throat> uh, the media has contributed much to the growth of uh, or to the dilution of hip hop. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not not only in Uganda, but I think all over the world. Because even right now, when you look at uh, big record labels. Uh, they focus on these trap artists, yeah. the, the Colombian records and, and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, you'll find out that, um, uh, I mean, generations change. Mm. Mm -hmm. You have also to think about that, that they, 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 we shall always have uh, different generations in, in terms of hip hop. But here in Uganda, most of these these artists these commercial artists these commercial rappers have that excuse that this real hip hop doesn't sell it doesn't sell yeah that man i want to to make some money mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. real hip hop won't sell but when you remember very well when gnl was coming up he came up with that pure content yeah. of hip hop yeah. Yeah. and yeah. he made a lot of money he he was signed to a big record label platinum entertainment i mean he had a, he had a full concert at at chad on the Rugby i remember Browns. very well i remember very well yes he, yeah. he, he, he uh, was pure. He was real. You understand. So I don't know how these these excuses come along that um, a real hip hop doesn't sell. With and most of these people who say this, they have never done even real no, hip hop. Okay, they okay. they just come with the with that their dancehall chidandali mentality and mm. fuse it with hip hop and start making excuses, which is okay for mm -hmm. them. But the biggest challenge or the biggest worry is. Uh, uh, still talking trash talking uh, this other side of hip hop i know? see i see but to be honest with you as i told you before that hip hop is is a, is, is a culture itself and it is a way of self expression yeah so what matters is how you express yourself in the industry 
Do you want to teach? Do you want to inspire? Do you want to educate? Do you want to entertain? Mm -hmm. If you concentrate only on entertaining, of course you'll have to switch off to switch uh, uh, on the other side of the the dancing to you say that that is something and start said. rapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you have this other side of uh, I want to touch someone's life which is mm -hmm. which is what i do right now because sometimes i just look at things and i be like why do we have depression why is it existing why is it that our parents never taught us about depression mm -hmm. why would someone kill himself yeah. why would someone commit suicide you understand you will find out that it is very hard to to bring out such uh, such a message uh, in the club or on a club beat or in a mm -hmm. reggaeton or dancehall beat you'll have to sit down and make someone listen not someone dance dancing to it uh, you yeah, understand yeah. I, I, I agree i think yeah so but here is also my reservation towards this right? mm. i feel like some of the people uh, say i remember babaluku and his movement and i remember and again i was a big hip-hop fan when i was in school uh what one thing that i i, I realized is they weren't shallow per se, but they were not willing to go deep all the way, right? Uh, so most of the <coughs> people who came uh, and talked about, say, society and rapped about society and told stories about society were still not willing to go, they were still tr scared of going to political, right? So the music, you, you, you understand that someone is complaining about society as is, Mm. But he's pretending like this, these problems are in a vacuum, right? He's yeah. not trying to point blame where it's supposed to be pointed, right? And so sort of that's what I noticed. And uh, the people who decide to, you know what, I'm not even going to try to talk about things if I'm not, because I'm not willing to go political, they decide to, let me just go and uh, do what Monji is doing right now. Let me go and make catchphrases. So Monji is sort of adding to a dictionary almost twice every year. Let me let me try to do that because again politics I don't want to join. But wh why is it that we don't have? I know uh, Jim Nola, for example. Mm. He's going hard, right? He's going yeah. hard, and his music you can really pay attention to his music, even if you're not a hip hop person. His music is attention grabbing. Yeah. You can tell that he's going all the way. He's putting in himself. But why is it that we have very few of those musicians who are willing to get dirty, to get their hands dirty? This is what I tell uh, people, especially fans who who uh, ask that. Eh, why don't you sound like Munji? What? Why don't you do uh, mm -hmm. what Munji is doing right now? I'd be like, Munji is Munji. I am not Munji. You're not Munji. You understand? Yeah, You'll find out that even Munji uh, has uh, that side of him. That uh, okay. Even Munji can't do what I do. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you'll never know I can do what Munji does. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, <laughs> Just yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, um, there is that, as I told you, that freedom of expression. When you listen to, uh, to, to, to MCs, I like using the word MCs because mm -hmm. yeah, MCs yeah. are rappers. Yeah. When you listen to rappers who go political and be open, mm -hmm. that is their take. That, they are, they are trying to bring out the, their what real is the selves. I agree. You I understand? Agree. They yeah. are trying to express what's on their heart. Hmm? You've given me an example of Jim Nola. Jim Nola has a new song about uh, Bye Bye Mucheven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really trying to bring out uh, the current situation, the yeah. current political situation, yeah. what is happening right now uh, from, from the state house to the streets. Mm, I mean, mm, mm. The whole NRM thing, yeah, you understand the way they have overstayed in power. He can do that, but you'll find out that there's a person like me who won't bring it out like the way he did. I see, you I, see I, I see. also know and see what is happening, but that is not my side. I don't, I don't want to go deep into that side. So sometimes it's, it's just uh, self expression. I, I have, I, I have a friend, um, actually, uh, he he was uh, part of my my crew, the Almighty Luga Flow. I mean, he's called Banam Tiwa. He's mm. based in Denmark, but he has been uh, doing so many of those revolutionary songs uh, from Tojikwa Tako, Museveni. Please, mm. I mean, he has been into that side. But you'll find out that um, 
it's it's not that safe because I agree. I totally <laughs> it totally so agree. Many... Yes, I I agree, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to explain no, I, it. No, I I understand by that. The by the time I now, started yeah. receiving those calls uh, of people looking for him, others pretending that they want to give him shows uh to perform, others pretending that they want to welcome him in, in the state house. It's it, it's hard right there. Yeah. When you go deep into that side, you have to fully uh, equip yourself. You have yourself. to be ready for, for, for You have to be ready for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I totally agree. I think you've seen so many people right now. For example, you've been talking about Kadongo Kam. Mm. But when you go back in the days, even some Kadongo Kam artists had an impact on the on the political yeah. situation. Yeah, yeah. You'll find out that others were, were looked... Uh, we are hunted by the the government those days we find out i mean so many things happening for example gerard chiwewa he did his song he wasn't even direct he, he just uh mm -mm. recited the poem i mean he wasn't even direct but you see what happened to yeah, him so yeah. people like us what i'm trying to mean is that no i understand people like that. us uh, avoid certain things yeah yeah no i i, I think I, I i get that perspective clearly yeah and yeah. maybe jim nola was he's uh, one of my favorites so that's why i brought him up but maybe his example is not the the best yeah but, but he pulled it yeah, off. no he did he did it was a really <laughs> really really badass song I, I really enjoyed it uh the, the thing though that i wanted to bring out for example is uh if you compare the impact that music has had yeah mm. on uh, countries that have been fundamentally musical countries not actually that that's not even true but say on countries that where music has played a bigger impact if you look at say jamaica right if you look at uh, bob marley for example yeah. Yeah, and how music managed to transform sort of the jamaican culture and put it out there as yeah. this is jamaica is jamaica right uh, and also if you look at lucky dube and lucky dube tried to do what bobby wine is doing and that yeah. cost him his life apparently people say that yeah yes uh, but yeah if you look at lucky dube also who who had really good music he was i think the best at his time he was, at his best he was the best musician on the continent on the continent mm. uh, but when he tried to get political so the consequences were not you know uh, it, it was it became dangerous yeah and, and i understand that most of the musicians you know it would it's not really worth it sometimes because you know uh even if you try to go so hard if it's not well calculated if you don't have the defenses you probably the impact of the music may not be as big as you know losing your life or getting into serious trouble yeah uh, but although there's some music that i've listened to that has been uh, eye-opening it's not i i want to think of uh i want to maybe if you if you listen to uh, and i listen a lot of international hip-hop if you listen to what jay-z was trying to do in his uh that first album he did the first hit album he did uh where he's talking about the the drug business and how to make money from drugs without being the victim right yes uh, so yeah he's, he's not trying to say uh we're being hustled saying I'm, i did what i had to do i was good at it and this is where i'm at you know I'm, I'm, things like that and you know if you look at sort of that 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 version of storytelling that would at, would get my attention i listen to your music and i'm like yeah uh so this guy is not an angel and that's mm. i think what's missing this guy is not an angel but you know i understand his perspective i understand why he, I, I, I have a reason to pay to, to pay attention to this storytelling i feel like that is missing a little bit uh, in uh, uganda yeah in uganda and and the reason i i feel that is uh, the fact that especially in hip hop hmm. most of our audience is not ugandan and and i, 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 I may say this with some apologies but most of the people especially those who rap in in english first of all they irritate me a little bit i mm. feel like it's too wanna be they focus a lot on trying to sound american than actually trying to say stuff <laughs> yeah so that, that's a big problem but also even people who don't when when i go to the theater and when i was at university when i just joined university i i spent a significant amount of time at the theater because i was training in filmmaking uh, but when you go to the theater most of the artists you find that whether hip hop whether you know uh, sort of more contemporary art it's uh, they're targeting the white people the most yeah and and i was in denmark also a few years back and i went to something equivalent to our theater in denmark a sort of an art center there was a festival there and i went to watch a few movies and watch a few some of the music and all of it i remember i i was with my girlfriend then who was uh, who, who was white right and she was she told me oh this movie was intense watch a very short film 
and she mm. said wow that was an intense film and you know the only response that for her was like that was too white right because uh, yeah to me it seemed like this is not a story you can tell in africa but mm. that, the beauty of that is that they they were talking to fellow danish right yeah. they were in denmark talking to danish people uh when you come back to africa you go to the national theater and you have uh black people talking to white people yeah they, they sort of uh make our african stories extremely simplistic right yeah. like depth in them so yeah. white people can be there and say oh africans are victims why is it that we don't have i'm going to use the word smart yeah we don't have people who are actually intelligent and i like to also point that jim nola people may say he sponsored my podcast but he didn't mm. jim nola's is not like book okay he doesn't express book smartness but you can tell from his music that this guy is intelligent this mm. guy actually uses his heart but he also has like brains behind the heart right yeah why why is it that that's not a lot I don't know if you can if if I'm putting you on the spot here but no um when you look at uh, at our industry okay this is the whole industry industry as a whole mm-hmm. not just hip hop mm-hmm. music uh we we don't have an identity I everyone see, yeah, is trying yeah. to jump on a certain bandwagon a Jam- Jamaican bandwagon this is the American that's why it is very hard to tell that this music is from Uganda you understand and um um uh, and the, the consumers the fans for for them what they 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 want to support what plays on tv or what plays on radio is what they support they don't have a, they don't have like a demand like they don't have a say that this is mm-hmm. what we want to listen to or we want to be represented somehow we want to i mean uh, we want someone who can talk about us you understand yeah. that's why you will find out that a certain artist is 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 rapping or singing about lamborghinis in the song yeah, which yeah, are yeah. not here yeah, yeah exactly exactly <laughs> bragging about killing people yeah <laughs> killing people that i have the big pistol i can kill you anytime i exactly yeah, yeah yeah ah, yeah man <laughs> <laughs> so but when you lead the, the, we have some artists actually we have so many genius artists mm-hmm. but uh, most of them have no platforms and actually an example is bobby wine if you've been following bobby wine yeah. ever since he started doing music yes he had that side of him um as a ganja man uh, mm-hmm. yeah, in the yeah, ghetto yeah. yes but yes he has been having like um, a revolutionary message ever since he started yeah. singing yeah it it, it it was more like he had the goal he had the yeah. target he wanted to go somewhere yeah he wanted to represent his people in the ghetto you understand yeah i agree i right it's 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 just right now uh people are trying to realize that eh this guy has been talking about change from way from, back yeah 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 no I, i i think i totally agree yeah uh, bobby wine reminds me who's your favorite um, american musician if if a rapper if you have one nas nas ah, okay great mm. uh, yeah so i'm going to say my name is kendrick and that's the one i wanted to say uh, bobby wine reminds me a lot of kendrick uh so when you listen to kendrick Mm. If you listen to one song of Kendrick, you can uh, make a judgment that this guy is a conscious rapper. Yeah. But when you listen to one other song of Kendrick, yes. you can make a judgment this guy is a pop rap. Yes. Right? Yes. And I feel like Bobby Wine was the He's exact versatile. thing exactly. W- yes. When you listen to I listen to Wendy, I remember when I was still a, a kid. Na yenze Wendy eh I was like Then you listen to Kagoma. Exactly. <laughs> Then next day, to Gambire ko Jennifer and yeah. be like eh Uh, yeah so s- ever since then bobby has always had yeah. you know i and want to let me tell you something we have so many artists in uganda like that but the only problem is the media i will insist mm. media only plays who who pays them it's the money controls our yeah. industry for them they don't care about uh, the message they don't care about uh, the, the the input they don't care about uh, what are you trying trying to to, 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 to mm-hmm. represent mm-hmm. what matters is how are you going to oh to give me some kaja mm-hmm. yeah, how much are you g- giving me eh? Yeah. that's why we have a lot of bobo gum music um that that is misleading the industry mm. i'm not only talking about yeah, yeah no, I, right I, I, i totally i, I, I agree yeah, no, I, i agree i agree mm. although like today for example mm. uh tv does not tv and radio mm. they don't play as big a part 
yes. in what music people listen to. So right now, most of the music is free. Most of the Ghana music is either free to move around on people's cards or pirated. Uh, say most of the international music or even the Ugandan music, like I think Epas has copyrights around his music, but it's still pirated music, right? Yeah. If you want to get it. Most of the Ugandan music is pirated and people can access it for free. Right? Why still is it that? Okay, yeah, and I, and I'm, I think that's even a, a different question. What can we do? Like you know, say today if we sat me and you and we found some white man to give us money, what could we do to get that kind of discovery? You know. Yeah, before talking about the copyright law, um, mm -hmm. what I was trying to explain at first is was the fact that music does not reach the people. You'll find out that the, the, sometimes the message doesn't reach the, the real people. people it is supposed to touch. Okay. You understand? So, um, the good thing right now, we, ha we have internet that plays some, some role, a bigger role actually, because uh, you'll find out that at least right now, internet is a TV and a radio mm, yeah, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, at times, you, you, you'll see that it's not enough. You understand it's not that enough it plays a certain part but also even us as artists we don't know what we want someone just do music uh to get a show yeah i you understand agree. I agree. that's I've why seen that. yeah. for them they don't even know that you can you can sell that music i remember when i released my first album in 2013 the translation okuta puta and um what I did, I released like four, five songs. Mm -hmm. I had to make sure that I push and promote those five songs. Such that when I release the album, you'll ask me, where are the, the, the other songs on the, on the, on the, the yeah. album? You're yeah. telling us you have 16 songs, but me, I only have five in my songs. So the only thing I had to do yes. was to make sure that I sell this, the CD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't do that, they are going to get all the music for free. They, so why are yeah. you releasing why the you album? The music when you look at the mainstream artists, the, also, a couple of mainstream artists right now, they released an album which is already out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> and on top of that, they released an album with no direction. I mean, actually, what, what, the, what most of these artists are releasing are compilations. Mm -hmm. He yeah, compiled yeah, yeah. the song he did last sort year, the other year. So you'll find out that the, the album has no direction. You don't even know what you are listening yeah. to. Yeah, I agree. So who, why, is, why is someone going to buy that album? And on top of that, the, the people you are, you, you are selling that album to already have the songs because most of these people, when they release mm -hmm. the music, they take to Majestic Plows already, they yeah. upload on internet, everything is free. So what they depend on is the, is the stage performance, performance, the performances, so. you understand? Yeah. But if you have a direction as an artist and you'll be like, oh, I want to earn from my music. What you can do, you, even you talked about Epas, he's my good friend, mm -hmm. he's, and he's a good example right now. Yeah. He does the same thing. He will release an album, or he will record an album and make sure I release a few songs. Yes, yes. So when you want to to to, to listen to the, everything, the other songs, you have to go and buy. Yeah. Buy online. Go, go to go Apple Music. Buy the album on <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. So it's the only way he can make money. Yeah. Uh, because he invests in the music. Yeah, but you understand? Yeah, when, when you look at the music from uh, from other places, yeah, if you look at America, again, I'm going to focus on the US because it's sort of mm. the bigger influence on most of the pop culture in Uganda, right? If you look at uh, America, say, for example, hip-hop, yeah, uh, if you have, say, most of these labels, they try to create a brand that's bigger than just the music yeah. behind the artist. Yeah, If you look at, say, Young Money, for example, in Wines Young Money, uh, it's a... Uh, you have uh, sort of clothes that are young money. You have uh, you have merchandise. Sort of, yeah, you have that merchandise that is sort of identifies you as a young money fan, right? And this, mm. I think, I, I remember this mostly from Fifty Cent, but I, I think this guy for Def Jam, uh, I think the Fat Farm brand was the first and and big. Is it Sean what? Or PDD's thing. Big Sean. Big Sean. Is it Big Sean? Yeah, PDD's thing. That, those were the first first uh, sort of try to franchise through merchandise franchise the hip-hop culture why is it that people here are not attempting to do that i have a friend uh, called broadband uh, mm. 
he's now trying to do that. He's a DJ and he's trying to merchandise his work as well. So uh, a couple of Ugandan DJs are now uh, sort of uh, wearing DJ broadband hoodies or DJ yeah. broadband t-shirts while doing their work as a way to push the merchandise forward. But how come very few artists are looking at that as an avenue of... Actually, I've, I've ever tried uh, to invest in merchandise. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I tried. I won't say that I did. <laughs> Uh, but what I can uh, tell you right now is uh, is the fact that um, your example is a bit huge. It's 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 big because mm -hmm. you are talking of record labels mm -hmm. in Uganda. Mm -hmm. We have no record labels. Okay, we have few record labels, and you'll find out that merchandise itself is is an investment, just like music. Yeah. So in Uganda especially uh, in our hip-hop industry, you'll find out that the artist himself is hustling for a studio session. He's hustling to pay for a studio. He's hustling to take the music to the, to the radio Thank station. You. And he's hustling to shoot a video. If you look at our hip-hop industry, we have few, few visuals. We have few music videos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's a lot of work because most of us are independent. So it is very hard. That's why most of us have no team. You'll find out that an artist is doing everything, everything. by yeah, himself. Yeah. Yeah. From, the, the, from the creation to studio session, later vis video shoot, uh, promoting the music, pushing from, from bloggers to TVs and all that. So we... we we honestly love that culture of merchandising mm -hmm. and actually branding, a full branding as an artist, but it is not very practical. hard because of the, the, the level of our music industry. I see, I see. Yeah. I see. Some of us try and <coughs> others are still trying, by the way. They are still doing it, but you realize that still those who invest in branding or merchandise, they, they have little time to do the music. Ah, For I example... See. I have a friend called uh, Sylvester Kabombo uh, from the legendary Sylvester and Abrams. Actually, mm -hmm. he's, he's, he has a very big uh, uh, brand right now, that Empire Kaseda. He has a lot of merchandise, shirts and, and jumpers and all that, but he has little time for music. Mm. Ah, he, okay. he concentrated much in the merchandise than, than the studio. The, than the the studio. You understand? Ah. So there's a lot of hustle in, in, in Uganda. There's a lot of things to do in yeah. Africa as, 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 as far as music is concerned. And actually, uh, that was just the hip hop industry. We have we have big bigger artists who can do that, but I don't know why they they don't do it, especially these yeah, other maybe, maybe genres. Right. And maybe, uh, maybe it's uh, it's not practical. I know Chameleon once even tried to do a phone, uh, sort of the Chameleon mobile phone or yeah. something. I don't know what happened to that. I also don't know what happened. Yeah, but, but I think that that question would fit um, really fit those those, the those bigger, big artists yeah, and, and uh, artists who who are on record labels um, because. A label like Swang's Avenue, mm -hmm. I mean, me, I feel like they can make a lot of money doing merchandise. Think as merchandise. Oh, let me say this new new girl on the blog. As oh. we, if they mm -hmm. decided to, to do uh, wristbands and, and jumpers and shirts, I think they can make a lot of money. But I, I don't know. I mean, our industry is different it's, from those it, guys yeah, because yeah. those guys, even when you find underground MCs or underground artists that side, they are well equipped. They are, they package themselves as brands. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So here we forget the word brand and just call ourselves artists. artists. Uh, me, I'm just a rapper. You understand? I see. I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, uh let's talk again a little bit back about uh, the movements and the impact and sort of the culture. I know right now hip-hop is biggest in schools, yeah? And uh, when I was in... Young people. Yeah, among us, the, the, the youngest kids. So uh, when I was in all level, for example, for me from when I was 13, that's 2013, to... Uh, no, rather 2003, not 2013, 2003. Uh, by that time, it was... Uh, uh, again, the 50 cents, they were big. Uh, Lil Wayne was, was not yet big here, but he was apparently big in the U.S. Uh, but we would, even at school, and I was in a single sex school then, I was in Ginger College, but even at school, we would uh, have battles, right? So they would set up and we can't compete. 
uh, I, I unfortunately wasn't one of the confident kids to try out my flows, but <laughs> yeah, guys would go and compete and uh, would shout and yell and, and all that. And uh, today, you know, and, and you know, by the time the there was not a lot of attention on, on hip-hop itself, right? So most mm. of the music we listened to was uh, music that's about six months old from the U.S. Uh, but today we have people like you, you've come up, uh, we've, had, uh, we've had again movements, like we've had Babaluku again. I, I want to mention Babaluku because I remember he brought in some fuel, I don't know why it burnt out a little bit. Mm. And all other guys who have tried to push some fire into hip-hop. Why are they not focusing on making this a real serious culture in school? Um... They, I, I have a feeling most of them want, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes uh, the, such such uh, ideas fail because of uh, sponsorships and all that. Because at the end of the day, if you have to push, if you want to push something um, beyond just streets and clubs and 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 whatever, you have to 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 package yourself as a brand so that you can get a brand to move with you. So you'll find out that um, uh, companies uh, uh, that are in line with such gave up somehow because of that fire, because the way most of these artists you're talking about seized the fire they had mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. uh, if you remember the days of Hot 100, yes, yes. I mean, I it, it really pushed hip hop out there. And so many brands were interested to work with the young people, uh, yeah. brands like Fanta, brands like Coca-Cola, brands like telecommunication companies. But uh, since right now hip hop is not so much out there, it is very hard to get such brands to so move with you. But with it. the demand is 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 too much um, mm -hmm. out there, especially in the, at the universities and and high schools, mm -hmm. because me personally, I've tried doing some some uh, high school tours, but it, it it is it is really really hot out really there. Yeah. The the demand is high. You can even come with the crew and they ask for more rappers and be like, okay, what yeah. happened to GNL? Yeah, yeah. Next time come with GNL. Next time come with with so yeah. and so. Come with Munji. And and surprisingly. Um, you can go to a certain school when no one knows you, but because you are rapping, just the word rapping, you are yeah, reciting, it's, it's, it's exactly, you are flowing, yeah, it's, it's they fall in love with you later. They get back on track later. You understand? Yeah. That's the power of hip hop. You don't have to know the artist, but, but what does that artist have? What is the music telling It's all you? about the creativity. But I think... Um, I, I I don't I, I I I don't blame the 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 sponsors so much, but sometimes even us, the artists, have not really put in that work to push uh, ourselves yeah. out there, push the brand, and work hard and disturb these people. You understand? Because it is really really hard to do this thing alone. Mm. And just like the way you talked about those people out uh, outside abroad, they 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 always have a team. An artist just goes to the studio, record, and go back, sit home. The team does everything. They they do some other work, yeah. you understand? So even us, the artists, me personally, I also have my weaknesses, you understand? Mm. So I think it's it's we just have to sit and, and really look into that. Because when, even as a country, when you look at the country, Uganda, the, the biggest population is young people. I see, I see. And these young people are the target audience, the first target audience, because they love hip hop as a genre. They love they love hip hop music. You understand, but we haven't been able to reach. Yeah, does them. this does this speak <laughs> to 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 the work ethic of of, of mm. Ugandans? I've had uh, especially people that I've worked with who are Indian. Mm. They've complained that. Uh, Africans and by this time they were referring to Ugandans because I was one of the Africans they were referring to a lazy people. You know, is it that is it an ethic that we have amongst ourselves as Ugandans that we just don't work hard, we don't work as hard as other people? Uh, because actually, one of the stories I've read, for example, mm. Lil Wayne, yeah, and, and and also Fifty Cent, by the way, mm. these guys have Lil Wayne has a three-week period where he slept in the studio, woke up, recorded, slept for three entire weeks. Yeah. Uh, food was delivered to the studio. Uh, everything was done in the studio. He never left the studio for three weeks because mm. he's recording music. And uh, 50 Cent also at his prime, when he did uh, his two albums and he recorded the unit album and recorded music for the game and music for 
those other guys in the unit. He also rumors are that they were extreme. They were working beyond normal human capacity. Yeah, and, mm. and if you look also at some of those big names that even beyond music, you know, if you look at say Bill Gates for example, mm. uh, people say Bill Gates as his prime when he was creating Microsoft, he would sleep until you know his keyboard he would uh, doze on his keyboard until <laughs> his keyboard would be p because the character length has ended. You know, mm. that is when he would. Do we have that kind of work ethic in Uganda? We do have that kind of work ethic. It's only that, um, for example, the people you're talking about, the 50 cents and, and, and all that, yes, they put in all that effort, uh, the time and sacrificed everything, but at the end of the day, they gained, mm -hmm. they got something out of it, you understand? But here, for us, you'll find out an artist. That's why when you look at the, the for example, the, music, the, the, the UG hip hop industry, you'll see an artist working hard in the beginning and then later lose hope yeah yeah because sometimes it's 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 not not worth it you invest all your time the money the everything sleepless nights and then they get all the music for free and you don't give I see, anything I see, I see. yet you have some other things you you have bills to pay you you have a family you have I see, I you see. understand yeah. so Actually, it's, 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 it's an African thing. If they put in energy into something and then they don't get something they get demoralized, written, yeah. they, they lose energy. Me personally, um, like seven years ago or six, when I was starting up, I could even walk from home mm -hmm. to studio mm -hmm. and then back just to go and record, mm -hmm. sometimes to go and listen to beats. Sometimes to go and beg and pay at least a quarter of, of, of the, the money I was supposed to pay for the studio session. You understand? But if, if I didn't have passion, I would have given up because I invested a lot I of see, time, see, a lot I of see. energy. But at the end of the day, I didn't really got the money I invested uh, in uh, uh, uh. during that time. You understand? So if you don't have that passion, if you don't have uh, a vision and a direction, it is very hard for you to, to, to be consistent in the music industry, especially in Africa, not only in Uganda. So You, yeah. you have to first fall in love with, with, with the, the music, music you do uh -huh. first. You fall in love with yourself, know what you want in the industry, know the direction, you understand? Know the impact. Yeah. You understand? I do, I That's do. why right now you'll find out that because I like few years ago I, I, I sat down and I was like I think I need to expand my fan base. So what I did I started working with artists with a bigger fan base. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the artists who are not even doing hip hop music. Yeah. Who are not rappers. So I I, I tried expanding my fan base. It's, it's not yet there because uh, most of the, that music is not yet released. But that is my direction. If you cannot um, challenge them, work with them. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you can't beat them, join them. It makes more sense that yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you, you can even um, do something more than 10 years with no results. I see. But if you have a direction and, 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 and a, a mature vision, you will know that if I do this and add this, I can get this. here. I can get this. I can go where I want to be. Mm -hmm. You understand? And not, only, not all musicians or rappers in Uganda have that mentality. For them, they want to keep doing the same thing over and over again to get the same results. And sometimes when um, they don't get what they expected, they start cursing the industry. And they start saying the music industry is yeah, it's stupid. Right but now, yeah. Yeah. you understand? But if your rating, say, from the time you started mm. to right now, do you think that hip hop industries, uh, the curve is going up or going down? There's a time it was going down, but right now it's going it's up. It's going up again. Why? Okay. Because you realize that right now we, 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 we have that generation of young talented artists mm -hmm. not like those those days when we only had like um 
the same artist into uh, when you talk about hip hop navi you yeah, yeah, right yeah. now it's a bit versatile that you have uh, the, both generations coming up I and see. keeping the genre alive yeah. and on top of that some of the mainstream artists rappers right now can do even what the underground artists can do the so called underground rappers can do okay. you find out a mainstream rapper right now freestyling which wasn't there before mm-hmm. real freestyling yeah, and yeah. you'd be like wow these things used to be in the ghetto yeah, yeah there used to be for yes hardcore guys only <laughs> so <laughs> the curve is going up, up. again mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's a time it was a eh, but right now my friend there is real potential yeah hey, guys are really talented but where, where are those kids are where, where, where do i find the, such music if i wanted to listen to some of the up and coming uh moro hip hop than there. music you just have to 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 come to to to, to um underground events underground hip hop mm-hmm. shows mm-hmm. they are there they Th- that's also the other thing can we do something uh because this is one one of the things i know uh if the art is there mm. but the discoverer is not yet there mm. and I, i know people would appreciate this art if they discovered it couldn't we because when i was uh, when I, well, for example when i was doing like when i was hard into film one of the things that we found extremely hard was to find good music that's not expensive right to put in the movies uh, but then when you after you say you've uh, done your movie at the festival then you go to the festival and listen to some of these very young up and coming artists and you're like wow you know this guy's song would have been the best song for my music yeah if only i'd found him right now is isn't there something we can do you know try to uh, create an institution around you know discovery yeah i think the only thing we can do right now is giving a platform whatever platform mm, mm. it could be an event a week month the event anything it could be a show an yeah. online show anything Wh- so what would have it take to, to do something like that because I, uh, personally first of all um, I, i never mentioned this also but i'm an engineer by training so for engineer by training right and some of the things i know and i i try to do uh, i think in 2017 i tried to do a small online something with a music label mm. but we could uh you know there is that avenue of trying to push the music from the from from the internet right mm. uh, maybe create an application or create just a website a simple website where people can just go and search for this music and maybe even get it for free yeah. for, or you know for like a very generous subscription say if you pay 1000 shillings a month yeah, you have unlimited money. yeah yeah exactly you yeah. have unlimited uh, access to all this underground music yeah. is not, is that not something that we can organize for That's example really, that is that can really be awesome but right where, where would if i wanted to do that who would i reach out to that's the thing because now i know you and, and probably we are going to keep in touch forever. yes are you, you can right reach person? out to me okay. i can reach out to someone i can recommend someone i mean i i almost know everyone in this industry yeah. okay <laughs> not yeah. everyone but <laughs> i know so many artists hip-hop artists in this industry and what what they need right now is a platform mm-hmm. because they go to studio they record the music and end up listening to that music at home and others end up just if someone can upload on reverb nation and share a link on, mm, mm, on a facebook page on that is maybe that's it because they they can even take to radio stations and be like oh, ah, this is too this is too commercial actually one thing about our media there's a time I think like five years ago, I went to a certain radio station. I won't say it. I won't mention it. Yeah. But the guy told me that, man, this this song is too Western. Uh, it is too. It is not local enough. It is not local. <laughs> Yet I was rapping in Luganda. <laughs> Everything was purely Luganda. Uh. Now I asked myself what what did this person mean? He didn't he didn't fully explain yeah, to yeah, me yeah. what he tried when to When you mean. go to the radio station who who is the person you you approach say for example say today I woke up I went to the radio station It is supposed to be a music manager okay. but at times it it's very hard to see them because as you come yeah st- certain radio some radio stations you can come and ask for a music manager then someone takes over Mm. The, the, that role and be like okay me i'm a presenter i have a big show and a big name here 
so what do you want i can help it, you yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. be like okay i have this new song um, um my name is so and so I, I i just want to push myself out there then the next thing they tell you okay let me listen to the music <sighs> while listening he can end up Stop telling you that uh, man, from criticism. He see, this song is so international <laughs> to be like so what do you want me to do okay advise me <laughs> oh, man. You sound so international. Uh, How radio plays see, local music. I see, I see. And you'd be like, man, I'm rapping in Luganda. So what is so international about this song? I mean, they they find a way of, of coming up with excuses and um, sometimes they want you to bribe them mm -hmm. and play you. Okay. Yeah. We have artists who can do that, but the people the I was talking about artists, cannot yeah, do that. Cannot afford that. If you if you tell yeah. which is not local Oh, and they and they end up telling you man this song is too local oh, yet the other side they told you it is too international it so international too, here means urban i right? don't know <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is too international it's, it's too international I see, I here see. we play local music and then you take it to an urban station and then they tell you ah man this is too local this for is us. too local yeah. brother so but, such such statements really mm. pull these these young mcs down and they end up uh, even changing their styles uh -huh. they be like okay now gravity is selling let, let me let me rap like gravity and at the end of the day they won't really uh, do exactly what gravity, gravity is saying mm. sometimes they they'll end up telling him that you are imitating gravity because you cannot be like gravity yeah yeah, yeah. you understand so th it's really hard out there yeah it let, let is me. really hard out there uh, the other question that maybe to follow up on this a bit before we switch to an diff entirely different topic. What do you say about the political environment right now, the political situation, for example, in terms of censorship? Do you feel like you're still free enough to say what you want or do you feel like right now more we than ever? We are not free. Okay. We are not free. First of all, our government doesn't support us. They don't do anything to this industry. They do not do do anything to support the industry yeah. you understand but they end up bringing uh, funny rules mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They, they just want it's like milking a cow that you don't feed that's yeah. what they are trying yeah. to do yeah they, they they try to push us to the wall you cannot even express yourself you are being tied in your own industry and and um ordered to to speak what they want to listen to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the current political situation. And I'm being honest. Yeah, no, because this I thing is, is not only affecting artists, musicians, by the way. So many sectors, even you, a movie maker, maker or uh, a uh, blogger. Uh, or yeah. It's yeah, no, no, I agree. Everyone. I agree. I know, for, for example, right now, uh, UCC is trying to implement something that I consider to be the most stupid law that has ever been thought of. Yeah. Where, because now, for example, we are recording. Yeah. They want me to register with them for license to publish my work. You yeah? see? For, yeah, now, for me, for example, now for this podcast, yeah. we don't own the podcast. Yeah. We don't, I mean, even if we own it, we can't own it because of and the you law. See, if they implement such a law, you'll find out that even the creativity is going that to That is die. exactly what I'm talking about. You'll be there and be like, okay, I'm not supposed to talk about no. this because the rules say that uh, after you get that, you know, eh, when you get that, you know, we shall, we sh we shall cancel yeah, your, we shall, your license. Yeah, but that's we a can, thing. That's a, it that doesn't thing. make sense. Even, even for this, for, for example, for this podcast, what mm. we decided to do is register our online accounts with our friends who live outside. Right? Yeah. So what we claim, for example, when it comes to this law, what we shall claim is we are just presenters. And yeah. If they want someone to, to, to be uh, censored on YouTube or on Apple Music, they have to mm. talk to Americans. But they are European. watching this. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, they have to know. They have to know. But uh, this, is, this is okay. Like, they have to know. This is, we are being pushed to the wall to now yeah. think about legal creative ways of, because Uganda is becoming uh, Saudi Arabia, you know, they're just really pushing the censorship further. And, and, and that's a good point that you mentioned that even in music and even in film, yeah. in film, uh, I know uh, UCC set up uh, the film commission, but they want you to, they still would push you, exp you know, most people ignore th th that certificate to get from UCC on their films, but those who want it, they want to make sure that the film speaks uh, a tone that UCC can accept, and most of these uh, most of these things are the reason why the world is full of American art. Mm. Yeah, 
the reason why the world is full of American artists because America has the freedom to express itself. Yes. Yeah. Uh, most of the other countries, they make Bollywood makes more movies than America. Did you know that? Yeah. Than Hollywood. Bollywood uh, makes yeah. a lot more movies than Hollywood. Mm. But the reason why Bollywood movies haven't had the significant amount of penetration is because most of them say the same thing because of that kind of censorship. Yeah. In the US, you can make a movie about American, you can make a movie criticizing the American government, you can make a movie criticizing other governments. Yeah, you, you can, can even make a sex movie. Like exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, no, eh? that, that is, a, that, exactly, that is, a, that is all, hey. all true. And, and that is a thing that uh, our government is trying to, I, I don't know why, either because, again, the selfish political reasons. Yeah, they even started censoring our girls that you perform while putting on this. Right now they even censor uh, yeah, shows. Yeah, that's that's what, what they want. What about music videos? I still see, I still see. That's what they thighs. want. Actually, that is their direction. But I, what I what I don't know is, is it going to be like this even after elections, or they are trying to bring in these things to scare us? No, I, I um, think they're targeting mostly Bobby Wine's avenues of, uh, you know. So right before they had this uh, thing on what on they had the cap on what the public opinion can be yeah. because they can buy out almost any media station. They used money. Mm. Uh, the thing they did with Monit a few years back, uh, they intimidated them and then they gave them money, right? Yeah. So they, they had the money and they have the guns. But now if there's a secondary avenue, for example, Bobby Wayne can now use his ghetto TV on Facebook mm. to reach out and he can clip up these videos into small clips that can move over social media, over yeah. WhatsApp, right? Yeah. And now that is a threat because it doesn't really matter. For example, recently Tamaguzi was on Tamaguzi, the, the MP for Nakaseke. Nakaseke, that's actually my village where my mother was born. Mm. Uh, so Tamaguzi was uh, on, on TV claiming that he was imprisoned and he was tortured and things like that. That is stuff you can never get on mainstream media. Yes. You know, he claimed he met the, the guy who broke down the church, was being intimidated. The story is a little bit funny. Yes. But, you know, he gets this opportunity to say things like that because there's that outlet. And I feel like that is what UCC is targeting. I don't think they're going to approach people like us, even if we've managed to figure out our workarounds. But again, this kind of censorship is scary because this is how Russia becomes the Russia that it is. This is how China, before China it, it started opening up, it becomes the China that it sense. was. Yeah. It does not make sense because as an artist, you see, most of these people bringing in these, uh, these funny rules and stuff, they have, they they have they, they have no connection to to, to mm. artists they don't even they don't even have yeah, relatives yeah, yeah. Who, who, are who are musicians they yeah. know nothing, they, they know about, nothing art. about the art yeah exactly so me you'll never tell me what to do how to compose how to rap mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can tell me where to to, to, to rap from that you're not supposed <laughs> to come this side and rap from this rap side from but you yeah. cannot tell me how to rap you cannot how, how 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 would you start telling me about um uh, the the song the lyrics that at least I have to first look into the lyrics and then see that this is what you're supposed to do. There's something that that once happened when we are doing um, wrap up 2018 mm -hmm. with uh, Viboyo. I won't go deep into the, the details, but it was related to that. They wanted to 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 see. Uh, to first listen, to first hear what uh, which the, the which wrap up is going to sound like, because yeah. by then the boy had some wrangles with the police I see. about certain things. But it's it, it's a long story. But it re it really frustrated me, and actually, that thing can even affect you psychologically. Yeah. It can affect your thinking, your creativity. True, I that mean, is true. Yeah, let's let's actually first talk about your uh, wrap up. I don't know what to call it. Is it a theme? Is it a genre? So every year, and this is what m m uh, mostly I think some of the people who get to know you for the first time get. That's how they get to know you. Mm. What inspires you to tell, to remind us about, and and how do you also select the stories to remind us about a previous year, and also how do you select that this story is worthy for my uh, for 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 the, for the wrap up, and this story maybe should actually you don't have to, to select stories. Mm -hmm. You just have to 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 follow what's happening. Yeah, I mean. In this, the, I feel like this era is 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 totally different from from an era ten years back, because right now we are exposed. Um, even if you don't have a TV, you can know what is happening in the, mm -hmm. in, the, in, the in the country. 
just just a mere logging off on Twitter or Facebook, you can tell that this is, this happened and yes, this is trending. Yeah. This is selling. This is what. So yeah. um. So that be- is your source. Before I used to listen to to some guy uh, called Skills. He's an American. Mm-hmm. He used yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yes. He used to do uh, those those annual wrap up songs, and I, I was so actually I was I, I started picking interest from 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 that time mm-hmm. because he could deliver it very well, and you'd be like, ah, this is nice. How did he do it? Yeah, yeah. Then later in Uganda, um, I started uh, hearing uh, more creative. Uh, ideas uh, from uh, Enigma and then Viboyo himself, the mm-hmm. one I did with 2018 wrap up. Then I started listening to them and I could, but I could tell that th- there's something missing because, yes, you can present the news, everyone can do the news, yeah, but yeah. how are you bringing out the news? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, not true. just going to, to come and tell people that, oh, this happened, then February, this happened, oh, then, da, 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 da. yeah. So, there was that um comic thing that that missed something that can make someone listen Interesting to something and which is more than seven minutes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You yeah, understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that creativity, not just bringing out the news, because even you, you can recite mm-hmm. what, is, well, I can, what happened. I can read out the headlines. Yeah, yeah. you can read out the, <laughs> the headlines. Yeah. But I, I, I had to try find uh, that interesting part that can make someone mm. follow me yeah. every year. Yeah, so most of most of what that uh, reminds me of there's uh, there's uh, there are some comedy shows. I know you know Trevor Noah, for example. Yeah? Yes, yes, and they yes. do something extremely similar. But one of my one of the good ones is uh, by a guy on HBO called uh, John Oliver, mm. and it's called Last Week Tonight, right? So uh, for him, he does a rap for the week, right? But yeah. it's a comedy thing where he tries to tell you to give you a, a few headlines of last week and make a few jokes about yes. it and things like that and that is very similar so that comic part of it can make make, make it, it interesting, interesting yeah. and you'll be like okay i have to to check yeah. out and i also week. get the incentive to <laughs> to pay attention to like internal internal affairs and exactly. things like that yeah yeah that is so <clears throat> that was my big, biggest aim is, was to add something to add a flavor into a, a, a new wrap up song where I can make you smile a bit, laugh mm-hmm. a bit, come back on, on on track, and then I just wanted to make it different from what others are doing because even right now, people like Viboy are still doing the same. He releases every year, oh, he d- but I have I had to make sure I be a bit a different bit yeah. from him because yeah. he. he I am a different brand. Mm. He is a different brand. I see, I see. So I just wanted to make it a bit um, should we, entertaining. Should we accept? Uh, should we expect the COVID wrap up 2020? Of course. 2020. Of course, 2020. <laughs> of course, I have to release a 2020 version of wrap up, which is dropping in, in, in Jan. I see, I see. So let us now switch to, to uh, probably our last topic for, for today. And this is, uh, this sits a little bit home for me. Uh, but uh, I think it's also very important. It's uh, quite a deeper conversation to have, but I think it's very important that we hint on it. Uh, what is your say, or what can you speak of the impact of drugs in, in the industry, you know, in art in general, by the way, not just music? And I know uh, music, and actually, I don't know much about hip hop, but I know for most of the other genres in music, uh, uh, drug use has been uh, sort of a big. A big motivator, and this is uh, some of the dangerous drugs, but also some of the the good ones. You know, S- like marijuana, for example. I don't think yeah. marijuana is such a bad drug, but yeah. So, the, what what do you say is the impact of? I mean, me personally, as an artist, I don't use drugs, and okay. um, when you research more about me, you will find that even part of my name um, came after. A result of drugs somewhere. I see. I see. Um, when you hear my name, Nelly said, you don't know where it came from. Where did it come from? My real name uh, is or was Nelson, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I had to cut my name short from Nelly, and Ad said. Before going there, the saint part of it came because I wasn't using drugs when I was growing up. Okay. So. All my friends nicknamed me a saint because I 
I, I never tested alcohol um ngangano ku kunywa kasigala you know those things so i grew up with that name hey, saint oh you saint wa fe bo mwa kasigala gana so but later uh, I, I, af, around 20 2005 i fell in love with a uh, with someone mm. from finland and um she could smoke and smoke actually i realized that even before we dated she she she, she could smoke like like obachi chinga ye international smoking so later after some some time she passed away of lung cancer oh, oh that's so sad yes may her soul rest in eternal mm-hmm. peace she said so i i cut my my name short from nelson to nelly and then added nelly said, said. Okay. In, in honor of her memory that that's the full name saint nelly said actually nelly, see, see. yes a, i did just wake up with the with the name saint nelly said <laughs> that's nelly the story see. behind my with name, name. Yeah. so uh me personally that that was a lesson I, i i i'm not saying that i was even using drugs before mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it really it, it it gave me courage that i have to to grab telling telling uh the story especially to the young generation that drugs are not are not good they they have never been good actually yeah. it's it's only that some artists use them freely as if it is something okay as if it is it, it is something normal but it it has never been good it, yeah, i've heard it, some people just claim d- that they pick inspiration from yes because you'll find out that there are certain artists who use drugs because of their reasons they have reasons that someone can even say that i can't perform mm-hmm. before smoking marijuana i can't mm-hmm. perform before using cocaine you understand but that is them but one thing we have to know that we have idols we have uh, we have people who look up to us yeah, yeah, even if models. you use those drugs you don't have to show it you don't have to sh- to show this young person I see, I see. we are in a hip hop industry we, which um, more than 90% of our fans are young 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 people yeah, in, yeah, yeah. who are still in school so how are you going to show that this 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 is bad when you're using when it? you're using the you just have yourself. to avoid it you have you don't you just have to not show or even stop using it so that this person can can be like okay this is bad but most of these young kids are using them because their idols are using them if you come on stage uh or if you 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 come on a show huh moving crossing into the crowd smoking marijuana smoking mm-hmm. weed and saying that man this is the ish this is the this this is how bad people be even the fans some of the fans you you you, you have will will think that this is okay this is okay to to do you understand yeah, but yeah. this the drugs have nothing 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 they be called a sense to do with your only life negative impact you'd say bobero because they say it is okay but they are just destroying the, 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 our young generation see, and it has caused so many things actually so many people have I've I've run mad mm-hmm. so many yeah, people yeah, yeah. Have, I know have, psychosis is a big, yes, big side effect so many people yeah. have lost their lives because of these drugs and you you'll find out that um so, so, some of some of our artists here in Uganda think that it is okay um to 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 share with someone who doesn't even use it you can even tell someone that man I don't use this thing you, you can you please go and smoke from the other side be like ah, you are an artist an artist is supposed to do this. I see, I see, so I some see. of them make it look like as an artist you're supposed to use some of these so drugs. There's, there's pressure from yes. from the okay see that so wow. you'll find out that even the artists or the people who don't use them end up using them because of the people around them you yeah understand? what do you think though of uh, uh <coughs> the legal situation so i know countries like uh Uh, like uh, I've been to Amsterdam and mm. in Netherlands yeah uh, marijuana is legal for example and I know yeah. some states in the US including uh, Colorado and I think California now uh, marijuana is legal right yeah uh, so how, what do you think about that approach as a way of curbing first of all the the drug trade itself mm. but also as a way of uh, so right now with 
for example in the in in, in Uganda mm. you know it's uh, since marijuana or other drugs are illegal if for example you you get the side the bad side effects you know for example psychosis which is a big one right if you get uh, the bad side effects you're not very comfortable to share this with the people you love or with the authorities for help because you've been doing something illegal right and also these drugs have dependency issues so you can start smoking and you get addicted something like that yeah but you may not be able to seek help because you're doing something illegal what do you think about the approach of legalizing i know in portugal for example uh, they don't punish for drugs so in portugal if you if you have uh, drug dependency if you have uh, if you're addicted say to heroin heroin is i think the worst of them all if you're addicted to heroin they will put you in a shelter and uh, dose you the way michael jackson the way michael jackson was being treated you know they dose you slowly slowly as they put you on a program to try and uh, get off the drug if it's possible but sometimes people get lifetime addictions right what do you think about the approach of legalizing versus not legalizing drugs i think um as you say the, these are these are different cultures we are not canada we are okay. not, I see. We are not I, portugal yeah, that's a good point uh, but what i think um for example uganda has a, a bigger uh, population of young people mm-hmm. i think the first thing to to do is uh, sensitization is 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 yeah, reaching out to these these people and tell them the the bad side the bad the effect of these drugs yeah you understand yeah. because you find out that um um, let me say c- cigarettes mm. are written on uh, that if yeah, you do exactly. da, 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 blah 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 you'll end up like this yeah, it, dangerous it your dead. Way, yeah. lungs uh-huh. saying blah 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 but it is not written on, on cocaine <laughs> but cocaine is not legal cigarettes are legal <laughs> <laughs> yes they are legal but they are not allowed in schools mm-hmm. because if they were legal yeah. they would be uh, they, it would be okay for you to take them to schools to classes I see, I see you understand you I see you that, that make them legal cuz me I'm, t- I'm talking to to a different generation to I a see. young generation yeah, yeah, because yeah. it is it starts from them hmm? most of these 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 big people are using them because they grew up like that it started mm-hmm. from from, from, the from young even children. you at school you remember yeah. those days when I people do, could hide and, and do, smoke yeah, and yeah. do this yeah. so we we have to start with with sensitization really our country has not played that part of sensitizing our fellow ugandans about the bad the bad sides of <laughs> of drugs, of, of drugs. Mm-hmm. you'll find out that some drugs are medicine for example marijuana but how are you going to use that medicine yeah. Yeah. most of these drugs are um uh misused uh, is that the right word just abused. Uh, abused just like the way you see alcohol mm-hmm. alcohol is not legal but it kills people some people abuse alcohol yeah but alcohol is not bad it's not yeah yeah yes I agree. so my point is we have to show that side of 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 drugs that if you use this or if you if you overuse for example Mubakuru, did you say if you overuse such and such a thing because we have so many right, types yeah. of drugs yeah we even have uh mafuta that those things yeah we i've have, never understood that there are so many things itself, man, yeah, the, the I, I, I understand, I, I, I was even i was even surprised to to find uh street street kids are using that there's uh you know that gum they use they put in in shoes oh sniffing glue yes yes <laughs> yes, yes they yes. were sniffing glue yeah. and i was like ah and even a street k- yeah. kid can so, do so, this. Yeah. No, I understand. So that. it has to start with us through sensitization, and then maybe um, making it. Uh, I mean, we don't have to legalize it. We just have to bring that law that if you are caught uh, smoking this in public, you have to 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 to, to, to pay to, big fine. Yeah, or something. to pay big fine or something. Or, or go to I mean, they they even have to scare people. Just like much as you go out. You can be um, out and then someone can even ask you, can be like, hey, may I please smoke from, from this side? Because they know that, yes, they are using them, but 
they, they, there might be someone who is mm-hmm. not interested. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I totally agree. Yeah. So if we can start with that and then uh, find a way of making it seem like you have, if if you are using it at home, go lock mm-hmm. yourself in in the house or in your compound and use the drugs, but not on not, not on shows or not in public. Where I remember they, they had even brought that law of uh, cigarettes. I think cigarette smoking that if you are caught smoking in, in public, public yeah. it's actually a real law. Yes, it's a real law. But people are still doing it. This is Uganda. So our 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 rules are not being enforced very mm. well, I think. And sometimes even the, the, the bribes are too much because yeah. still Obviously. you can find Obviously. me Obviously. downtown smoking yeah. my yeah. weed. Yeah. And you arrest me, I'll give you a look at me and be like, okay, it's yeah. na nyamba. So if they can put much emphasis on that, maybe our young generation won't be able to see those things you know you know i see i see so yeah uh let me let me ask so i know for example and i'm not a fan of Seven at all but i know Seven. one of the things he did well and one of the things i think he's really good at mm. is a campaigner right so he campaigned very well against hiv mm. he campaigned uh, very well against uh, child pregnancies and uh, you know f- uh, family planning and things like that mm. and you see that his campaigns on most of those things have had actual impact on the way people think you know the way uh condoms are now a normal thing unlike actually i've been to south africa as well and the attitude we have towards condoms in uganda people mm. think is a normal thing but if you go to places like south africa you'll be very very surprised mm. uh it's very very okay here for for a, i mean it's weird for, for say to have sex with a girl for the first time who's mild educated and not and she won't expect you to use a condom yeah but in uh in when I was in South Africa, it was an exact different story. Using a condom is sort of a statement of suspicion. If I want to have sex with a girl, for the first time that I've just had talked to in the bar and I bring out my condom, she'll be like, yo, do you think I'm sick? You know? Hey. <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is like very, very weird. Maybe I had a bad experience, but, but you know, even from the conversations I had, it's sort of like that is the tone. You know? and, and these are things that Seven has done really well to campaign mm. against. But you think he's sleeping on the drug issue because I've not seen him come out to condemn drugs or to talk i think he has slept on the drug issue ever since he came into power mm, yeah and um i don't think uh she she they, they, they are someone there's someone who has told him about it but i've they i've seen i've seen a certain organization is it they have a movement of uh, stop smoking something like that i've seen it on social media but i don't know how they whether they have approached the the ministries and or the government see, to, see, to come up with something with like some that campaigns. because that drug thing has eaten up a yeah, lot it's of young becoming people. a big problem it's i agree becoming, yeah uh, the very big thing and even our artists most of them have I've, I've, I've been off, man. They, they, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I totally agree. No I more. Think Others have even run mad. You know, you understand. You, I will give you an example of a uh, of, uh, cute guy mm-hmm. It has drugs. Yeah, yeah let's also talk it. about that running mad thing. And I hate the word running mad. Mm. You know, I think uh, when yeah, people compound... It's a bit uh, big. Yeah, but when people compound like mental issues, mental illnesses, some of, some of it is just mental stress, yeah? Yeah. But some of it is like real serious problems. You have, uh, say... Uh, uh, you could have maybe psychosis or you could have like uh, depression. Even dementia. Yeah, even like dementia for, for maybe old age or dementia caused by other things, you know, mm. and you could become mentally off, mentally unadjusted. Uh, do you think because there's also a lot of polarization and a lot of uh, stigmatization around mental health that some of these things are becoming a bigger issue than they would have rather otherwise have been. Because I know for sure, even people who smoke in the U.S., they have these uh, cases of psychosis, especially the mild psychosis. Mm. Uh, but, you know, you have access to, say, therapist, or there's uh, uh, there, there are some online therapy sessions that you can access, and it's not unexpected, right? So yeah. your parents would know when you start to act out of heart that uh, this guy is probably the marijuana and they would start recommending to you pro- plans of how to sort of get off the marijuana or how to seek help, you know. But here in Uganda, uh, you run outside with your shirt off because maybe you had a vision because you use some marijuana <laughs> and you're already labeled, this man is mad. Uh, this man has been bewitched. And also there is uh, there is also the whole, uh, you know, because of our traditions and uh, sort of the, the Asian beliefs that we have is uh, this man has been bewitched. Yeah. The woman has bewitched this man. The stepmother has bewitched this man and things like that. Mm. Do you think that's my One thing is- I, I know is that um, first of all, our immune system, 
is it immune system yeah. is not the same we might take the same amount of drugs i, I agree. believe I that agree. Yeah. you run mad and i be okay yeah. I yeah. Be fine. so the, the the neural resistance yes. is totally different yeah, yeah yeah so at times you see the thing with with africans we don't even go to hospitals we don't we don't even mm, go mm. for check up especially when you get, when you you get something like that yeah. that as you said most people uh tend to to mistake uh certain issues with uh with bewitching and, and mm. stuff with your dog yeah. blah 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 and all that yet but the, if 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 we had that part where you 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 get those side effects because of drugs you go to a certain hospital mm. they tell you that oh according to your system you are not supposed to use this you're not su- supposed yeah, to use yeah, yeah. just like the way you see alcohol I i've agree. seen I agree. i've seen that side of yeah, alcohol yeah, someone yeah. get like I know, I know a problem friend by the way. In, inside Even and then it goes up and they tell them that ah you're supposed to leave yeah stop alcohol yeah, yeah, yeah you can take beer but that water is going agree. to keep burning that thing inside. yeah you have liver issues or something so yeah. all those things go 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 under that that the 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 system we are talking about that the, the drugs system we are talking about it, it it's a huge thing because you'll find out that most of the 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 the, the things caused by from drugs they are the, they have that that line from the drugs mm-hmm. someone is taking drugs and then sometimes time they use a lot of money because most of these drugs are even costly yeah yeah for example i have a friend who has a rapper she started using cocaine um cocaine was too expensive she I could know, use know, a know, lot know, of money and then later she got depressed so it was a mixture of depression and then that powerful drug uh, then later she had to 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 get that thing related to running mad mm-hmm, mm-hmm. she could destroy everything in the house and all that and and actually if if it becomes addictive it is very hard to live without it yeah yeah you see yeah. all that sensitization and and uh yeah, and awareness goes under that because how are you going to handle that person here a person is being affected by drugs but he's taken straight to butabika mm. do we have, is not do we have uh, do we have like a good rehab uh places what? rehabilitation, yeah, rehabilitation centers. centers yes we have them there's one i know in Entebbe. okay mm. but here as you said we mistake uh, certain issues with the uh, with the madness or witchcraft someone see, can even be taken to to, to mama fina yeah because <laughs> they are, they're, they're just doing okay <laughs> yes <laughs> I see. <laughs> Yet that person is supposed to be taken to a, a rehabilitation really? center yeah. just to talk, bring counselors can, to counsel him to I mean mm-hmm. give him the nice the, the basic medicine and the, the, how he's supposed to eat you understand I, do. I mean I'm I'm not a doctor but I think I have <laughs> I have knowledge about it because I've I've traveled but you'll find out that th- there are people there who use drugs but even the way they they take their life is different totally different from, from us mm-hmm. be like this someone can even tell you that hey man this is a strong drug if i use it i have to eat this amount of food yeah, and yeah, this is yeah, how yeah, i suppose yeah, i'm yes, supposed to feed yes, myself yeah. so you'll find don't, don't get surprised if you find me eating a whole chicken yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I've, i've actually had this experience in in, in san francisco so san francisco mm. you can order for marijuana using an app right yeah. and uh when you order depending on the quantity because it's all well measured so they'll tell you this is a uh, htc something it does yes. like the, the some units and then they would recommend that uh for you to do this you know maybe stay indoors right yes. yeah for you to do this uh this is going to make you excited so maybe go for a jog something like yes. that go for a yeah, jog yeah, yeah. drink some water mm-hmm, exactly yeah. and, and so you know th- th- there's some studies around the 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 they know that you may need sort of to stimulate your own mental state with, mm. with the drugs yeah. but we've also done some studies and we know how to get the best pra- yes. get the best experience out of it yes, maybe exactly. that is also some of the stuff but here yeah, you'll find people in the ghetto in the slums yeah, yeah, no, agree, someone is agree. using those drugs taking buvet at the same time without even eating the yeah, whole but, day yeah but i think also like everywhere else the reason why mostly the poor people affected hugely by drugs is because again uh one of the biggest uh, advantages of using drugs is that set of acceptance right? yes. so when you use say heroin or marijuana or one of those other strong drugs i don't think cocaine does the same thing but one of those other uh 
drugs that will mess with your psyche it's like you expect you accept your state so most yes. of the people who'd be sad because they're poor or sad because they're in grief or sad oh, because yeah. of some other situations the comfort that comes from drugs is not ignorable you know yes. it's something that actually gives them their lives a little bit of genuine experience that they're worth you know that for them it's worth you know uh, risking the addiction to, to, exactly. to feel that good yeah. so that yeah i mean you can't rule that out for poor people i think this is a big problem everywhere yeah Yeah. Uh Nelly, thank you very much for for being for accepting to be part of our podcast. I think that we are going to wrap it up from here. This has been a very interesting conversation. Anytime. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get you back soon. Uh we'll run through a couple of other guests and we can get you back on a part two if you accept. Mm. Thank you very much. Uh It's a pleasure being here and uh, man, this is this means a lot. Actually, I've never had such an interview where I talk about things um outside rap just mm-hmm. uh, because every interview you go to they ask you man hey do you have a girlfriend so <laughs> hey, how many girlfriends do you have when did you last play guitar you see such things eh? so it's 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 so much interesting um having such an opportunity where you you sit with a person one on one and you talk about things concerning yeah. your community talking about things talking about life in actual exactly, sense yeah. i mean talking about uh the journey sometimes talking about what you you are yeah, doing yeah. Mm-hmm. currently i mean it makes a lot of sense for me and uh, i think i would recommend um uh you to to bring enough uh, enough artists yeah we will we just will. entrepreneurs will. yeah, and, yeah definitely and, definitely and, and but, but, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely i think that's what we're trying to approach yeah uh, you should we want to approach you should because at the end of the yeah. day you'll find out this show will change uh, so many people's lives yeah. and uh it will educate a lot of people because i personally have learned something i, yeah. I didn't just come yeah, here man. to sit so, so and talk, I, so talk with I. you but i've learned <laughs> so, something so have i yeah so yeah. have i so i mean it's 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 a, it's 50 50 it's a, mm-hmm. it's a learning process it's yeah. uh yeah it's, it's a source of true source of inspiration yeah, i agree i agree and yeah. i think that's what we are trying to also push out for uh sort of put fire back into the art of conversation you know yeah. this is how knowledge in africa's you know well, traditionally been able to move from generation to generation we think if, if i have a conversation with you you pick something from me you go have a conversation with your other friends mm. then that something from you has gone to your other friend i pick something from you i can't talk to my other friends yes, that something yes, from exactly. you has gone to my other friends and-